Welcome everyone to Revelation Corner. It's a privilege to have here today, Pastor Daniel Jenkins, as we've been talking about the Kingdom family. Good evening, Pastor. Good evening. Um, so as we continue to talk about the Kingdom family, yes. I know as a woman, we always think, first, God created Adam. Then he made Eve out of Adam. So why, why Eve? Uh, because humanity will need a mother. The essence of the woman was to complete Adam. Uh, God created the man to be leader. And a leader leads someone. And for that reason, God made Adam so Eve can support him, so both of them can fulfill God's uh, intent of creating them. Pastor, yes. you talk about the woman being the mother of mankind. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to know what is the significant or the spiritual role that the woman has in the kingdom family? Thank you very, very much for this question. It's a very important question that must be addressed. Uh, God declared his intents for bringing in the woman. He said, it is not good that the man should be alone. He will make for man a help comparable or meet for him. So God's idea of a woman being given to a man is providing a help comparable to him. Now that word help is God's own title. David said, God, our very present help, H-E-L-P, in times of trouble. So God is help. And when Adam was alone, God saw that he needed help. So God's first title to the woman was not wife, but help. We also know that in the New Testament context, the Holy Spirit is help mm. to us. So the woman is not just there uh, only for physical things, but there fulfilling a spiritual role. Mm. God has endowed her with so much so that he can, she can uh, support, be a friend, an ally, somebody who helps the man uh, to fulfill uh, his role as husband and father. So, Pastor, you talk about how Eve came into the picture. Mm -hmm. Adam was first created, and then God created Eve and brought Eve to Adam. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the uniqueness of Eve. You, Eve was unique in every way. She was created with a different substance from the original man. God directly went to the soil and formed the man. But when he was ready to bring the woman to the man, he went straight into him and took out of his side a rib bone. Why did God decide to use a bone instead of the soil directly? It is because he wanted the woman to be an emblem of strength. She is the strength provider to the man because her role is to support. And we all know the essence of the bone within our human frame. Without the bone, you will only be a heap of mass. So the woman comes in as a bone to give the man structure, give the man strength, give the man order. Uh, be, above that is that it is only within the bones that you have the marrow. The marrow is there to produce blood. 
Blood is the essence of life. I don't know how you can live your life without blood. The woman is a life giver. Pastor, so you've talked a lot about the strength of women. Yeah. And it, that's not something you often hear when the topic of women is being discussed. Can you elaborate a bit more about this? Thank you very much. I think it's very essential that I elaborate on it because uh, it is true that men's concept of womanhood is uh, this human species that is said to be weak. But women are not that weak. Women are built with such strength that is amazing to me. Because a woman is built to do five things. As a general rule, most women can do multiple things uh, at the same time, whereas men can do only one. Uh, women are built with wisdom. One gift that most women have is a built-in system. It is called intuition. It gives a woman the capability to see into the future. That is part of her strength. Most men uh, only live in the now. So when God decided to want to bring a, a woman, he's bringing somebody who could help him to be able to look into the future. And that is what most women do. Most times, uh, uh, it is women who motivates their husbands to uh, explore things and to venture uh, to do other things. We see in the Bible the example of Deborah. At a time when men and kings were nowhere to be found at a time of war, she rose to the occasion and led even the king and captured Sisera. We also see Esther. Esther should have been a very frightened woman, but for her courage. Women are courageous. They are courageous enough to carry a baby and nurture the baby for nine months, something no man would ever be able to fathom. I also believe that women are fearless, fearless uh, in terms of how uh, Mary Magdalene and the other women at mm -hmm. uh, the resurrection, when everybody was dead quiet and had, had gone into hiding, that they went to the grave by themselves when they knew it was very risky. Uh, women are that unique. When they know what they want, nothing stops them. Women have that capability. They can do things uh, much more than what men can do sometimes. That's the way I see it, women. So, Pastor, let's zero in on the kingdom woman. Yes. What are the important attributes that a kingdom woman must have? The kingdom woman is a Christian. She is saved, born again, and spirit-filled. The kingdom woman fears the Lord and loves the Lord with all her heart. The kingdom woman is a woman of the word. She doesn't just live her life any way, anyhow. She focuses on God and his word to live uh, whether at home or outside the home. Wherever she is, she's very mindful of who she is. And that is what uh, characterizes her life. She has the presence of God with her when she comes to a place. She wants to ensure that she is m making an impact that will be very positive to mankind. Uh, above what I've said, um, I want to say that what Solomon said in Proverbs 31, you know, comes home uh, very readily to me that uh, the beauty of a woman is vain, but the woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Mm -hmm. And I believe that one characteristic of a kingdom woman 
is a fear of the Lord, her love for God. And I know that uh, you look into the Bible and realize that there were women who really loved the Lord. Esther loved the Lord. Uh, Ab Abigail loved the Lord. Deborah loved the Lord. All the host of women, we call the holy women of God, had one thing. They fear the Lord and love the Lord. Mm -hmm. And that is the way they, they live their life. They live their lives were dedicated and separated for God. I believe that these qualities uh, should uh, readily help us to know who a kingdom uh, woman is. Thank you so much for joining us again at Revelation Corner. We'll see you again the next time. <laughs>